Where would we be without electricity? What would our lives be like without lights, phones, appliances, TVs, and computers? Electricity is now an inseparable part of modern existence. It helps us move, it makes us more efficient, and it keeps us comfortable. As electricity continues to improve the quality of our life, could it also be shortening it? Electrical energy consumed by everyday appliances generates what we call an electromagnetic field, or EMF. An EMF is a field of both electrical and magnetic waves, which can trigger biological changes in humans. Some experts suggest that the changes due to EMF can increase our risk of certain illnesses and afflictions. EMF exposure can also break down the body's immune system, causing adults and children alike to feel tired, tense, and sick. Ceragem has created a solution to chronic EMF exposure. The Ceramat has been specially designed to protect our bodies from EMF waves while simultaneously replenishing our own natural energy to help improve poor circulation, reduce fatigue, and boost immune function. Made from specially woven copper fibers and a charcoal powder filter, Ceramat helps diffuse harmful EMF emissions by safely diverting them away from our body. Ceramat's patented technology shields the user in a secure field, free of EMF, to induce sound sleep and help recharge the body. It also uses a patented three-layer heating wire to generate heat to further enhance its effectiveness. At Ceragem, we're on a mission to redefine health, human care, comfort, and prosperity. We are working hard to be your long-term partner in better health and greater well-being. Our healthcare products are improving the lives of countless men and women around the globe. Our new Ceramat is yet another example of our commitment to a safer, healthier world. Ceramat is a preventative device with a patented EMF filtering screen called Ceragard, which along with our unique heating technology called Magnotherma, helps eliminate up to 99% of harmful electrical and magnetic waves from our sleeping environment. I can't begin to tell you the difference that Ceramat has made in my life. I was having such a hard time sleeping. Getting through each day was so tough. Um, it affected my energy, my focus, my memory. And uh, now I crawl into the warm bed with the Ceramat in it and drift to sleep and wake up the next day energized, bounce out of bed. I'm back to myself. It's, it's amazing. Why is Ceragard technology so essential to our well-being? Our blood cells have a natural negative charge, and when working properly, they repel each other, creating a steady flow of blood through our bloodstreams. But when EMF is exposed to our blood cells, it causes them to lose their negative charge, and they may start clumping together. This creates poor blood circulation, which in turn can lead to overwhelming fatigue and a catastrophic breakdown of immune function. Ceramat helps fend off fatigue and stress through a process called pro-ionic augmentation, or PIA, which helps protect us from the potentially harmful electromagnetic fields that surround us. These invisible rays bombard us with unstable positive ions that drain our body, leaving us weaker and more vulnerable. Exposure to EMF is not new to the human condition. Electrical currents have always existed in the human body, from our own biological and chemical reactions, as well as from natural outside sources. As the human race becomes more and more advanced, with telecommunications, high-speed travel, exploration, media, 
broadcasting and wireless networking, we continue to surround ourselves with artificial sources of denser electromagnetic charges. Hundreds of studies have been conducted worldwide examining the impact of EMF, starting from heavy-duty power lines, substations and transformers, to everyday home wiring, computers, electric blankets, microwave ovens and hair dryers. In addition, EMF has been noted as being the fourth leading environmental pollutant, causing a wave of distress worldwide. Our field correspondent, Courtney Bailey, is at the Seragem testing facility with technicians who can tell us more. Hi, Courtney. What have you got for us? Hi. I'm here live at G&M Compliance, an independent testing facility where we're going to be putting the Ceramat to extensive testing today. Standing here with me today is Mr. Thomas Ha. Hi. How, How are, are you? you? Good. He's one of the engineers here today. Can I call you Thomas? Absolutely. Super. Sure, so Thomas, tell me, explain in lay terms what it is that actually goes on with the processing here, the testing. Okay. Here at the laboratory, we do safety testing as well as FCC electromagnetic compatibility testing. So Thomas, tell me, where are we? And are we indeed measuring the EMF of these mats right now? Yes, Courtney. We're actually inside an EMC chamber, an electromagnetic field chamber. It is very cool. Yeah, thanks. Once the door is closed, and we will be measuring these mats independently, the reason why we're in this chamber is because once the door is closed, the ambient noise will no longer be present, um, like cell phones, mm -hmm. microwaves. And so the antenna behind you is what we'll be using to measure the electromagnetic noise coming out of each of these blankets independently. So Thomas, right now the mat is being measured for EMF. What is that? Yes, electromagnetic field. Okay, and tell me what the blue line is? Oh, the blue line here is okay. the blue line and it's the FCC limit line. And FCC stands for Federal Communications Commission. It is a U.S. governmental agency that sets the guideline or limit of how much noise the product can actually emit. So as you can see, if the noise is above the blue line, then the product fails. What that means is the product will not be allowed to be sold in the U.S. marketplace. But let's make it interesting. Tell me about the other competitors' rate. Okay, Courtney, can you see? Um, the competitors' mat, it's quite a bit of difference. If you can look at this graph, between 30 megahertz to 200 megahertz, and that's the spectrum that we'll be measuring. If you look at the noise, it's quite a bit of noise. Even though it's beneath or below the FCC limit line, it's, the product can still be sold to the, to the public, but it's quite noisy, whereas if you look at the Ceramat between 30 megahertz, again, to 200 megahertz, it's quite a bit of a difference. Well, Courtney, for the next test, mm -hmm. we, we will be measuring the electromagnetic field noise coming out of these blankets, and we have three. Okay. Where should we start? Let's start over here maybe with the, sure. the little heating pad. Yep, and what we have here is an instrument that uh, records electric fields coming out of these mats. Okay. Okay, we'll start with the first one. And this, uh, the unit of measurement, it's actually volts per meter. Okay. So the higher volts per meter, the worse for you. Worse, okay, yes. so I, I want to see a low number here. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, well, Go. let's start with um, competitor number one. Okay. And as you can see, when I put it on top of the mat, it's reading almost 190 volts per meter. Yeah, almost 200 right now. That's very, very bad, especially if you're actually uh, lying right on top of it. Okay. And, you know, that's a lot of... Um, but that's what we do with these things. We put them right next to our body. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Well, let's move to the second one, the competitor number two, which if you put here, it's better. Yeah, it's still skyrocketed really absolutely. high. So that's not very good either. Okay. Now let's move to the Ceramat, and let's see what we see here. If you put it right at, well, look at that. Wow, that is so low. Hardly anything. Huge this is difference. by far the best choice. Yeah. 
Well, you're talking about a magnitude of 10, at, at least 10 to 20. So this one is far healthier for us. Absolutely. Hands down won the test well, of all of them. Well.